My friend, you and I, we, we don't deserve more than what we have now. Seriously, we don't deserve anything more and we don't deserve anything less. And so what do I mean by that, okay? What I've come to realize in life, we literally only get out what we put in. And better yet, we only get out what we're willing to give up and sacrifice. You see, there's a lot of people I see that complain and they, oh, this happened or I didn't have this, I didn't do this. And sometimes I complain too. Well, I don't have enough clients or I'm not looking a certain way. Why am I not completely shredded? Well, are you doing the cardio? Did you really drop your calories? Are you helping enough people? And so when I look around, I realize that life gives us everything we deserve to have. And so when I look around and I see people not having what they want, but they keep asking for it. I'm like, you haven't worked for it. Why should you get a six pack if you haven't done the sacrificing, if you haven't done the work, if you haven't given up your, your favorite foods, if you haven't stopped going out on the weekends, if you haven't consistently weighed out your food, measured it out and ate it, why should you deserve a six pack if you haven't given up the soda? If you haven't given up the late night cravings. You see, even in relationships, I fucked over a lot of girls. I fucked over a lot of girls. Am I proud to say it? No, but I'm man enough to tell you the truth. I fucked over a lot of girls. And how? I would, I would not fantasize, but I would give them the idea that we're gonna be together. But in the back of my mind, I knew I was never gonna date the girl. And the worst thing you can do as a man with love is give somebody hope. And so I faced a lot of pain through relationships because I'm also giving a lot of pain. So guess what that means? It means I deserve to feel all this pain. I deserve to get hurt. Why? Because I hurt a lot of people. And so when you look at your life, and you realize, okay, I deserve everything I have. And if you don't have much, and if you aren't much, it's because you're not that valuable, truthfully. You're not that special. Same with me, I'm not that special. I don't deserve to have a multi-million dollar company. I deserve this body, because I've been at it for 16 years. I deserve this gym because I helped enough people to where I can fund it. And so how can we use this as an opportunity to grow? By first realizing that we ain't shit. We're not shit, but that's okay. If you have a gut, if you have body fat, if you don't like the way you look, you deserve that body. You haven't made enough sacrifices and you haven't made it for long enough time. You're not shredded, you're not diced because you haven't given up the sweets, the snacks, all that, you just haven't given it up. And three, four days is nothing. You don't deserve the job you really want because you're not that good. I don't deserve a thousand clients, a thousand customers because I haven't talked to that many people. So when you realize that life actually gives you everything you deserve, that's a good thing. Because you don't want life to give a whole bunch of undeserving people the shit. And, and what I've come to realize too is, if we were given everything we want, we would fuck ourselves. Like, I was thinking about this just yesterday in the shower. I was like, man, if, if they gave me, say, 100 grand in my bank account, I'm a very disciplined man. But if they gave me a hundred grand my bank account, I'd be like, what would I do? Shit, I'd go buy this, and then I'd go drive down here, I'd go stay over here. I'm like, fuck, dude, I'm not disciplined yet. So as I'm running my company, I also believe God, there's a time and place where he's like, look, if I give you this right now, you're gonna fuck yourself. Like some of you guys have a gut. If, if I were to give you this six pack right now, 
You'd go, you'd go try to have sex with every single girl that would want you. That, I get that kind of attention. Okay, for me, it's like, I get that kind of attention, so I can't, and I've developed responsibility, but I've also done a lot of, I've also abused the power that comes with this. Everything you want that is amazing, a six pack, money, a relationship, has an equal opposite to it. There's gonna, there's gonna, something's gonna come with it that's just as great of a, a, a distraction. It's gonna test you because there's God and there's Satan. So it's always gonna test you. But before we can even reach that level, we have to realize where we are. And the first step into getting what you deserve, you have to be willing to give up something. It all starts with sacrifice. I believe it all starts with sacrifice, then the hard work comes in. Because you can't try to get something while still holding on to something. Like imagine you only have one hand and you're trying to grab something. It's like, I want that. Well, you gotta let this go. No, it doesn't work like that, Junior. But I want that. Well, you gotta let this go, but I don't want to. No, motherfucker. You have to let this go in order for you to get that. But here's the difference. Sometimes when you let this go, you're not sure how long it's gonna, t it's gonna take you to get this thing. And that's where most people fuck up. You give up right in the middle. You're like, I let go of this and I haven't gotten what I wanted. I haven't gotten what I wanted. You know you can always go back and pick up the thing that you dropped off. It's not what you want, but it's familiar, it's comfortable. The snacks, the late night cravings, the alcohol, maybe the relationship you're in. Trust me, I wish I would told myself, leave the relationship I was in. Leave, if you're not happy with where you're at in your relationship and it's constant fighting, and you're constantly thinking about leaving, just leave. Like if you tried your hardest to make it work, it didn't work, okay, bye. And if you're not happy with your job, then you have to be willing to get better. Again, life, you have the job you want to have because that's what you deserve. You're not better than that. That's what self-improvement, self-investment is everything. Work on yourself, work on yourself, educate yourself. I, I bought a bunch of books because I wanted to become smarter. I hired a lot of mentors, a lot of coaches because I wanted to be smarter. I hired personal trainers, coaches, online coaches so I can get more ripped. I sacrificed going out, I sacrificed friends, I sacrificed dinners so I can be shredded. Start there. What do you need to sacrifice? What do you need to give up now for something down the line that's better. Food, relationship, job, habits, alcohol, smoking weed. Quit the weed, my man. Stop the fucking weed. It's only slowing you down. All right? Remember, you only get in life what you deserve, nothing more.